Now for those of you using Apple devices such as the iPhone or iPad, there's one extra step we need to take in order to connect our iFi Mobi card. You'll need to complete this step every time you power on your camera in order to sync your images from your phone to your camera. Now, the great thing is that if you did take any pictures while you were not connected to your mobile device, as soon as we complete the connection process, all of those images are gonna begin transferring to our phone or tablet, as well as the photographs we take after we connect. Now, let's take a look at how this works by looking at our Wi-Fi settings, and you will see that the Wi-Fi on my iPhone is turned on and still connected to my default Wi-Fi network. Now, I need to turn on my iFi connected camera and take a picture as the iFi Mobi only connects if it detects that new images need to be transferred. Now in a few seconds, we will see the iFi card appear on my list of Wi-Fi networks. And keep in mind, however, that my iPhone will stay connected to my default Wi-Fi network. Now all I need to do is tap on the iFi card listed in my networks and immediately my iPhone will connect to my camera. All of my pictures I took using this card will now sync with my iPhone and any new pictures I take will be synced with the iFi app on my mobile device.